Hello, 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 humanity back once again. Um, I, um, I wanted to bring you the uh, baked uh, turnip uh, 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 recipe. I had a real um, uh, strange uh, encounter. I was uh, debating about the uh, adding the uh, chopped, uh, very small chopped uh, broccoli uh, uh, to the uh, onion gravy. And I was like, well, you know, that's, you know, you don't hear that too much. Maybe I won't, uh, maybe I won't do that. And then, you know, something uh, came to my mind, uh, humanity. I thought about uh, those of us, if you're not, um, if you're not uh, in this struggle as it relates to eating, a lot of what I say and a lot of what, uh, you know, the menus that I try, uh, try out, they won't make sense to you, not at all. But it's when you've, uh, like I uh, said yesterday and like I've, uh, you know, um, reminded you guys of so many times when you come from a situation where you uh you know allowed yourself to consume uh the totality of what for uh you know individuals that eat normal sized meals when you allow yourself to consume that much food in one day the uh uh the accumulation of what four human beings would eat uh, individually in one day and you allow yourself to eat like that day in and day out and after the uh, when the day comes to an end you're still hungry and you're not sad you're not depressed you're not using it for a coping mechanism you literally uh, uh, are hungry at the end of the day when you consume so much sugar uh, to the point to where you've eaten a bag of cookies uh, or box of cooks cookies whatever the case may be in a bag of small candies and um, you know maybe some other uh, sweet uh, sweet treats or what have you and at the end of the day you're still craving more sugar you know believe me a lot of what I say and the menus that I try they won't make sense to you but for those of us that are in the struggle coming out of the struggle going back in taking the long way home however it uh, may be you can relate to what I'm saying and I thought about it I said you know what if uh, um, you know because a lot of these uh, uh, things that I try out uh, you you know, I get a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and I'm trying uh, my best. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get bored uh, with this eating lifestyle. I was listening to someone. Uh, I think that was just last week. A loved one, and uh, they're uh, uh, trying a new path as it relates uh, uh, to their eating as well. Not the one that I'm trying. They're trying something different. Uh, theirs is a little bit more stringent. But anyway, I'm saying all that to say this. Uh, they had gotten maybe like a week or so in, and they were talking about how bored they were, and uh, we were just going back and forth. And I said uh, to you know to this individual, I wonder if it's because you're eating the same thing over and over and over again. And you know, I. Uh, uh, hint, you know, I, I talked about that before uh, in the uh, audio book uh, uh, that uh, I was working on. I'm hoping to, you know, finish that off before the summer ends. But uh, I talked about that. You know, I said, I wonder if, uh, well, I can only speak for myself. You know, I've tried so many diets and, and so many different uh, uh, diets, I guess you could say. And um, one thing stuck out, you know, the deprivation of the diet, the boredom of the diet, you know, um, and that's the reason why I uh, term this lifestyle because you know uh, um, you know the New Year's resolution and what have you okay I'm gonna eat this salad I'm going to eat uh, this apple I'm gonna eat this cucumber and what have you that that may in fact work for some people but for those of us like I just uh, uh, you know uh, stated you know when we're uh, you know we're used to consuming huge I mean just huge amounts of food uh, huge amounts of sugar and for us to thrust ourselves into, uh, okay, I'm going to eat a, a plain salad and, 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 and make no mistake about it. I love salads. I love apples. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the redundant, you know, the redundant behavior of eating the same thing over and over and over again. And then if that's not enough, then... Uh, um, you know, limiting, you know, being so limited, even in those choices of, uh, you know, consuming them over and over and over again. And so when I uh, uh, chose this lifestyle uh, uh, diet, I, uh, I mean, eating lifestyle, I uh, purposely uh, wanted to make sure that uh, 
deprivation uh, uh, was not uh, a part of uh, you know a part of the eating lifestyle because uh, you know I want I wanted my change to be just that a lifestyle I'm not going to eat a plain salad and an apple and a cucumber or a celery uh, for the rest of my life you know I want variety in my food I love food you know so uh, you know I want a variety and I want a lot of it so when I was preparing this uh, uh, turnip and can you just imagine you know you're uh, you're out and about uh, be it at work school or you're at home and you have a lot of errands to run you know and uh, when you're out and about or when you come back home you don't uh, you don't want to overeat or better yet you don't want to gain any more weight and you want to uh, if you're like uh, some of us you know we're not doing um, the eating lifestyle for vanity which so many of us have done so much in the past and you know we all want to look good in our clothes and what have you but for some of us it's a lot uh, uh, it's a lot more serious for us we're doing Doing it for health reasons and it really 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 has gotten serious so you know with that being said you know we really uh, we can't afford to do the back and forth and this and the other we need something that uh, that's a healthier version of uh, the way we you know the way we need to eat and so with that being said I thought about it I was like you know uh, just think about it uh, as opposed to eating a uh, baked potato with all of the starch and 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 I love french fries I'll eat french fries again I'll eat baked potatoes again but uh, for something that I can eat frequently and not feel guilty about it and not have it run my uh, hopefully not have it spike my blood sugar up you know I can have three or four uh, uh, baked turnips and uh, you know with the way I've prepared them not only can you get the satiety but hopefully it won't spike your blood sugar up and 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 don't take my word for any of this because I'm not a clinician I'm not a doctor you need to get your permission from your doctor but uh, something in me wants to believe that uh, you know two two or even three depending on uh, how hungry you are uh, a turnip a baked turnip is a healthier choice than a, uh, a baked potato you know filled with starch that turns into sugar and keep in mind I'm not knocking the potato because like I said I know I'm getting redundant in the, even this uh, uh, I love potatoes so I'm going to eat a potato again I'm going to eat french fries again but this is just hopefully a healthier version so with that being said uh, uh, I baked uh, I baked the turnip uh, you can preheat your oven to 375 and depending on your appliance um, I think uh, I baked my uh, turnip for uh, now this time you want uh, because uh, before I told you with the sandwiches you don't want your turnips to be mushy but with the uh, baked potato you want a soft uh, a soft textured uh, turnip so I think I baked it for maybe about 45 minutes so if you squeeze it and when you squeeze it it doesn't uh, you don't see the impressions of your hand or you know you don't if it's not soft you know as uh, a baked potato would be you know maybe bake it for an, an, an additional 10 minutes you know and so uh, what I did was I made a gravy to go uh, with it I used coconut flour flour uh, I uh, uh, warmed up a skillet I put um uh, maybe a tablespoon of uh, oil I didn't have any coconut oil but if you have coconut oil uh, that's the preferred choice one tablespoon so I'll just say uh, one tablespoon of coconut oil I let that get slightly hot then I put in uh, two tablespoons of coconut flour I put in one fourth cup of chopped onions I put in um, uh, onion, one tablespoon onion powder one tablespoon uh, garlic powder uh, one teaspoon of black pepper pepper uh, one tablespoon uh, maybe maybe two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and then I uh, went in with the, I have a uh, citric garlic uh, uh, seasoning that's salty uh, so you may not be able to find that so your onion and your garlic powder or if you have an additional um, an additional seasoning you know just in and you know remember we talked about then we talk about that often the personalization and the customization so you know utilize your seasonings for the gravy whatever you know whatever you prefer make it taste good to you 
and so after I did uh, the uh, uh, the uh, one fourth cup of onions, I did one fourth cup of washed and chopped celery, and then uh, uh, after I put in the uh, citric garlic, uh, it still wasn't quite salty enough. So uh, after you simmer it uh, just for a little bit, taste it because uh, I don't I don't really know if I'm putting enough salt in uh, uh, for you. Uh, I definitely didn't put in enough for me. I had to add uh, salt after I prepared it. So then after I um, uh, after I put in the uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce, I also put in uh, one tablespoon of onion soup mix, uh, and that gives you a little salt along with the onion flavor. And uh, I put in uh, one fourth cup of uh, one fourth, a half a cup. I'm sorry, a half a cup of water. And uh, I uh, I stirred that all up and uh, I let that simmer a bit. So now keep in mind after you let it simmer for maybe three or four minutes, uh, you know, taste it to see if it's salty enough. You may even want to omit some salt. So you know, add you know, add some more seasonings if you want to flavor it. And so then uh, uh, I thought about it. I was like, you know, I want something just you know maybe uh, just a little bit more. Uh, I wanted a little bit more. I didn't have any mushrooms. And so you can go in with whatever you want to go in with I I thought about broccoli I had some broccoli so uh, I took a, a, a little broccoli maybe about a fourth a cup wash and chopped and I put that in and I wanted to go in uh, with some uh, a little uh, maybe just like a teaspoon of Velveeta cheese I go to the refrigerator and I didn't have any so like I say uh, you know humanity personalize it and uh, customize it uh, to your liking but you know what I'm what what I'm really striving to do I want a variety of uh, menus that I can go to that have healthy ingredients that I don't get bored and I'm not because you know I've, I've, I've been taking the long way home uh, on this eating lifestyle for almost now what me maybe six or seven months I still have a lot of weight to lose I'm still you know I still have a lot of goals to meet as it relates uh, uh, you know to the health and, and just so many aspects of the eating lifestyle so the last thing I need is a boring uh, a boring menu you know it would take nothing for me to go back to uh, well my mentality changed so maybe I wouldn't go back to you know all of that uh, eating and, and and what have you and all the sugar I do have my reckless days still you know I just came out of not just reckless days but uh, maybe two reckless months so you know uh, the long way home is befitting to me in so many aspects but I talked a long time uh, humanity I was, wasn't expecting to talk that long as I've been away from you guys for a long time uh, you know the uh, that cold that was almost a month and then I just came out of another obstacle uh, so uh, I've been away so I guess I'm a little talky <laughs> I missed you guys but anyway um, so let the let your let your gravy uh, let your gravy simmer for maybe about you know maybe five or six minutes it shouldn't take that long and uh, just you know just just think about it you know you're making a great gravy with coconut flour as opposed to a regular flour you know that's loaded with uh, you know preservatives you know sugar and all all that stuff I'm going to eat some more regular flour uh, again but uh, I'm saying on a regular basis if we can take out some of that stuff and not eat so much of it I wonder if maybe it'll help us okay with that being said humanity I'm gonna close it out here wishing you the best for the day and you know how I, I uh, ended I'm gonna go and get it then bring it back to you